Chapter 139 Evil Typha Drinking Blood 1. The treasures of the gods are left by them for their human race descendants. You are a mere mortal. How could you pocket it alone? Dao Child Shengshen's words were like the blooming lotus flowers. You keeping this treasure would not only be your demise, but also the demise of a cleansing incense ancient sect. The smart ones are the heroes. You take one part of the treasure and leave behind the rest. I long, with brother King Xun, will guarantee your safety as you leave. Bah! At this time, Chen Beijiao said with disdain. The so-called Heaven's Proud Sons are nothing but cowardly pretentious rats. Wanting to take others' treasures yet still speaking this nonsense and spouting shameless words. It can't get any more wretched than this. Chen Beijiao's statement made Dao Child Shengshen's expression turn red and then green. But he coldly scowled and remained arrogant. My patience is limited. Hurry up and hand the godly monarch Kuipan over. Otherwise, suffer the consequences. At this time, Heavenly Prince King Xun unleashed his aggressive aura and became impatient. Li Kai bursted out in laughter. Even facing everyone in the world, he was still nonchalant and calm. He said, And if I don't hand over the treasure? Death. Heavenly Prince King Xun replied with one word. It was filled with killing intent like cold steel and frightening chills. You will become the enemy of the entire world if you don't hand over the treasure. You will be murdered by everyone. At this time, an expert loudly shouted. Who didn't want a half cup of soup from the treasure? A lord coldly exclaimed. Hurry up and hand over the treasure or face your death. Being the enemy of everyone in this world will not result in a good end. Enemies with everyone in this world? Murdered by everyone? I am so afraid. Ah. Li Kai laughed and patted his chest. Then, he squinted his eyes while speaking. Enemies with everyone in this world? Everyone in this world. Just with all of you? All worthless. So what if everyone was my enemy? I'll still kill without mercy. Young man. Such big words. At this moment, enlightened being C2 stood up and smiled. Don't think that just because you have an emperor's possession that you are invincible in this world. The Azure mysterious ancient kingdom and heavenly prince King Sun wanting to destroy you. This is an easy matter. Regarding emperor's possessions and emperor treasures, how can your cleansing and sense ancient sect compare to the Azure mysterious ancient kingdom? Enlightened being C2 was a cunning old fox. His words first brought the Azure mysterious ancient kingdom into the mix. And it was also threatening Li Kai. I am so scared. Li Kai cheerfully smiled. What about the Azure mysterious ancient kingdom? What if I don't hand over the treasure? Young people are always hot-headed. You simply don't know the immensity of the heavens and vastness of the earth. Enlightened being C2 smirked and then said. If something should happen, then it would be unfortunate. Finished speaking, he took one step forward and revealed his torrential aura. Without a doubt, C2 was clearly threatening Li Kai. If he didn't hand the treasure over, only death awaited him. How many enlightened beings did your heavenly jewel kingdom bring? The old servant behind Li Kai coldly snorted and also took a step forward, revealing his blood energy. His aura billowed out in front of Li Kai and protected him. So it is the Chen clan's grand Pashi. You have not come into being for such a long time. Why the need to stir this muddy water this time? Even if you can stop me, can you also stop Grand Pugwan from the Azure Mysterious Ancient Kingdom? Enlightened being C2 let off a fabricated smile. At this point, C2 glanced at the old man wearing a hat next to Heavenly Prince King Xun. His intention was very clear. If they were to join forces, the old man needed to show some sincerity. This old man came out with a completely different momentum, towering like a giant mountain, standing motionless like iron chains blocking the rivers. He was like the hidden rocks hindering the waves. Even though he suppressed his own aura and cultivation, but when he came out, it still felt very oppressive and suffocating. As this old man stood up, even the old servant's eyes shrunk. He felt a great threat, knowing that he had met an enemy much stronger than him. A suppressed ancient saint, Knight Ufen looked at this old man and smiled. He he. Ancient saint. At that moment, countless people shivered in their hearts. During the difficult Tao era, only the absolutely brilliant ones could become an ancient saint. This was an unfathomable man. Young noble Li, life is the most valuable thing. Take a step back and be humbled by the high sky and wide ocean. Li Kai smiled and replied. Suppressing your cultivation to come inside, you should watch out for the emperor's punishment. When the emperor's punishment comes down, unless you are an immortal emperor. Otherwise, becoming nothingness is the only result. The evil infested ridge had been refined by immortal emperor Minutes Ren. Outsiders that went and had to be below the ancient saint realm. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to enter. He did this to protect the treasures inside the ridge. It was so that the descendants of the cleansing and sense ancient sect wouldn't needlessly plunder the place, killing the chicken to take the eggs. Although only cultivators under the ancient saint level could enter. Some opportunistic cultivators used a special method to suppress their cultivation to sneak inside. However, this came with a danger. Once their cultivation gets revealed, they would be suppressed. If it was a serious offense, then even an emperor's punishment would come down. This was an extremely frightening matter. Grand Pugwan, with godly lights in his eyes and an imposing presence, said, Young nobody doesn't need to worry about this. Listen to my advice and hand over the godly monarch weapon. Don't make a mistake. Mistake? Li Kai looked around at everyone. Then, he slowly smiled and said, I am a person with a bad habit. When others want to oppose me, my blood can't help but boil, and I have to sharpen my blades. Since this is a mistake, then good. I actually like mistakes. Finished speaking, Li Kaira called the old servant. He then directly pointed at Grand Pugwan and said, You, 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 and you, and all of you. Li Kai then pointed at a group of Dao Child Shengshen and Heavenly Prince King Sun and freely said, Who do you think are, godly monarch Kuipan, treasure of the gods? Even if I have it, I still wouldn't give it to you. Enemies with the rest of the world? I love this type of matter the most. The Azure Mysterious Ancient Kingdom. In my eyes, 
is only scrap metal. Since all of you want to rob the treasure, then scram over here. I will fight all of you by myself. This unrestrained arrogance caused everyone to burst out in laughter. Dao Child Shengshen took a step forward and laughed. Blind little demon boasting shamelessly. Just with you alone? I can slay you with just one hand. Ha, just with a pretty boy like you? Why don't you take another look at yourself? When your fiancé was facing trouble, you didn't even try to rescue her. A cowardly, hypocritical bastard like you still has the face to consider yourself a genius of the Grand Middle Territory? In my opinion, it is more accurate to call you a fool. Li Kai loudly glowed and spoke with disdain as he glanced at Dao Child Shengshen. Li Kai's words immediately left Dao Child Shengshen livid. He coldly shouted. Little animal, I will hack you. He roared and swung one hand down vertically. Scram. Li Xuang immediately slashed before Li Kai could move. One slash alone was able to force Dao Child Shengshen to retreat. With her city toppling beauty, she coldly glared at him and said, Cowardly rats still dare claiming to be geniuses. Being looked down by Li Xuang and enraged Dao Child Shengshen till he started to shiver with an ugly and pale expression. Enough nonsense. Hand over the godly monarch weapon and I will spare your life. At this time, Heavenly Prince King Sun lost his patience and stepped forward with a soaring aura. He was like a young heavenly king. Li Kai glimpsed at him and said, Spare me from death? Do you really think that you are your ancestor, Immortal Emperor Sandao, or Immortal Emperor King Sun? Even if Immortal Emperor Sandao or Immortal Emperor King Sun saw me, they still would dare to bluster, accept your death. Heavenly Prince King Sun roared and his azure aura immediately turned into a huge hand, carrying an invincible momentum, and swung at Li Kai. Move. After a shout, the holy lotuses bloomed. Li Xuang in maneuvered and blocked the strike from Heavenly Prince King Sun. In the blink of an eye, her void and perfection physique appeared with peerless sacred immortal lights, impervious to all magic, impenetrable by all things. A great amount of blossoming lotus petals propped up like the eternal blue sky. It was as if she was a banished fairy from the nine heavens. The so-called number one genius of the Grand Middle Territory, how about fighting me? Li Xuang in stood up with complete domination. She was as cold as the mist, like a snow-covered mountain with peerless grace. Good, good, Xuang Yin. People will say that I am picking on the world, bullying with numbers. This would not be a good rumor, Li Kai calmly said as he pulled Li Xuang in back. At this moment, Li Kai looked at everyone and nonchalantly said, Wanting to snatch my treasure, I have no choice left but to kill all of you. One versus one, that would be my bullying you. All of you, come forward. Heavenly Prince King Sun, Dao Child Shengshen, in my eyes, you all aren't shit. I can kill all of you with just one hand. Ignorant fool, rush up and tear him apart. Li Kai's arrogance angered everyone and one of them furiously exclaimed, That's right, tear this little demon into 18 pieces. Then we will divide the treasure. At this point, all of the cultivators who were forming a blockade at the back rushed forward with surging killing intent. Since you're seeking your own death, I will help you. With a chilling gaze, Heavenly Prince King Sun stepped forward with a flowing azure aura that was as vast as the ocean. Not only Heavenly Prince King Sun, but Grand Pugwan, Enlightened Bean C2, Dao Child Shengshen also all rushed forward. They all wanted to seize the treasure to avoid being taken advantage of by others. They not only wanted the treasure, but also wanted to capture Li Kai's group, including Li Xuang Yun. Wait. When they all wanted to take action, Li Kai suddenly shouted, If you have any last words, it is not too late to say them, Dao Child Shengshen said. Li Kai smiled and said, Not last words, but I did say that I didn't want to bully the world. We have so many people here so it is not fair. People will say I am using numbers to bully you all. So first, let me tell them to back off. Finished speaking, he signaled with a motion of his sleeve.